Okay, well thanks for tuning in. It's going to be a quick video. If you've had problems like I've had with GoPros when you try to connect an external power source, there is a fix that GoPro did release. I found this out through Nakwa. They did a YouTube video. Go check them out. But thank you, Nakwa. So I'm just going to show you step by step what I did to uh, install this. So the first thing we're going to do is go to GoProLabs.com. Once you get to the home page, you're going to look for Get Started. Should take you to a page like this. Click Get Started again. Okay, and now we're going to get go to a section that says How to Install and Use GoPro Labs Firmware. You're going to click that hyperlink, download the GoPro Labs firmware. And depending on what model you have, you're going to go ahead and click uh, the corresponding model. Mine is a Hero Black 10. So I click that, and it's going to download. Okay. This one asked me, are you sure you want to delete? I did this a few times, wasn't sure what this was. I went ahead and hit delete, and it worked fine. And now you've downloaded a folder called update. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. And you're going to connect your SD card. Now you're not going to be able to see this, but go ahead and connect your SD card. Okay, I've opened the SD card, and I'm going to go ahead and paste or copy that folder uh, that's called Update from GoPro. If you open this up, there's a, a couple bin files and a text file. Okay, now what you're going to do is remove that SD card. Go ahead and eject out of here. Remove that SD card, and you're going to go ahead and put that into your camera. I'm taking the SD card out. I'm going to go ahead and put it into my GoPro here. All right, I've removed my SD card from the computer. Now it's back into the GoPro. You're going to need an external battery for this. So go ahead and get one of those. Put my external battery in. Go ahead and turn it on. And you're going to see for mine, you're, you see a little gear icon. That just means that the software is updating on your GoPro. Now this may take a couple minutes, depending on what model you have. So it says update complete. Just gonna keep letting it cycle through. Okay, and once it's back to here, it says features act. But there's one step that I already did that you're gonna have to do. You're not quite done yet. So you're gonna go to the app store and look for QR Control. This is the GoPro Labs app. You're gonna go ahead and download that app. Once you've downloaded it, go ahead and open that app. And you're going to, at the upper uh, part of the screen, scroll over to Extras. And here you see Feature 4 CC. You're gonna scroll down and select TUSB. Once you've done that, there's also a permanent box if you want to make these settings permanent. I do, so I went ahead and checked that. Once you've checked that, now you're going to get your GoPro and power it back on. And you're going to point the GoPro at this QR code. Once you've uh, pointed the GoPro at the QR code, you should get a check mark in the middle of the screen. That means that it overrode the last settings. And so at this point, let's test it out. Go ahead and take out your battery. I'm going to get my power source here. And plug it in. It's flashing, so I know it's getting power. Let's turn it on. And there you go. No more error message. It says feature activated. GoPro Labs uh, gives you some kind of GoPro message. Check out Nakwa's video. They show everything. The video is much better than mine, but I wanted to just give you a quick rundown that this does exist now. No more hacks or, or doing other things, reverting back to old software like I've been doing in the past. Well, hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave them down below. 
Otherwise, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, take care.